Hello, I'm Will Mara, and I'm standing here in Dealey Plaza in Dallas, Texas, to talk a little bit about my new book, Frame 232. Now, if you know anything about American history, you know that Dealey Plaza is a historic location in that it was the site of the assassination of John Kennedy, our 35th president, on November 22nd in 1963. And if you know that much, you probably know a couple other things about the assassination as well. For example, you probably know that Kennedy's accused killer was a man named Lee Harvey Oswald. You probably know that Lee Harvey Oswald himself was killed two days later by a Dallas nightclub owner named Jack Ruby. And you probably know that in the years since the assassination, about a million conspiracy theories have been put forth, blaming everybody from Nikita Khrushchev to the CIA to the mafia for the killing. Now let me tell you a couple of things about the assassination that you probably don't know. For example, of all the people who were here in Dealey Plaza that day, almost all of them have been identified by name, but a couple have not. One of those was a woman who was standing in approximately the same spot where I am right now. She was wearing a long overcoat, pair of glasses, and a scarf over her head that is commonly called a babushka. And for that reason, she has been known since then only as the babushka lady. Now, what's notable about the babushka lady is that a lot of Kennedy assassination experts believe that she was holding up a camera. Now, if that's true, then chances are she took some of the clearest and most detailed images of the assassination that anybody took that day. And yet, nobody knows who she was, she's never come forward, and her film has never seen the light of day. The first time I heard about the Babushka lady was while I was watching a documentary on the assassination in 2003. And as soon as I saw her, the first thing that went through my mind was, wouldn't it be interesting if her film showed up now? Wouldn't it be even more interesting if there was something on that film that nobody else saw that day? The final key piece of evidence that put the whole puzzle together and led us to the solution of who really killed President Kennedy. And best of all, wouldn't it be interesting if there were people still alive who wanted to make sure that that truth remained buried forever? It's a remarkable thing to think about, isn't it? An ordinary person leading her everyday life and then suddenly stumbling across the key piece of evidence that provides the solution to the greatest mystery of the 20th century. But you don't have to imagine it, because I've imagined it for you. Frame 232 releases from Tyndale House Publishers on July 1st. I hope you'll check it out.